Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing this video for you guys just to show you what you need to do in preparation for a spray tan or just a self tan. <laughs> So the night before you get your tan or the day before you get your tan, what you're going to do is just give your skin a good wash as you normally would. So once I've done that, I'm just going to grab my razor and my legs and my underarm a uh, my underarms a shave. Um, I like to do this the night before or the day before just because it gives your pores and your legs time to close up um, because if you're going to hop out of the shower and apply your fake tan straight away it's just going to get stuck in those pores and it's going to make like a dotty effect all over your legs which is not nice so yeah I just like to do this the night before or the day before rather than on the day of getting your tan. So then I'm just going to take a body scrub, so I'm just using a coffee scrub today. I'm just going to rub that all over my body, I'm just going to really focus it on my elbows and my knees and my ankles and just places that get a build up of dead dry skin. Um, you don't have to use a body scrub if you like, you can just go straight in with some exfoliating gloves but I like to do that the like the shower just before I go to get my tan. So yeah, I'm just going to use my body scrub for now. So once you're out of the shower and all dry, the next step is to moisturize your whole body from head to toe. So the moisturizer I used, uh, I like to use for this is the Vaseline Cocoa Glow Intensive Care Moisturizer. I like to use this moisturizer in particular because it leaves my skin with a nice healthy glow and it just makes my skin feel so, so hydrated and moisturized. Just before you apply your tan or go and get your spray tan, I do recommend having a shower before you go. I just purely go in with my exfoliating gloves and give my skin a good exfoliating. Um, I like to focus on my knees and my ankles and my elbows, just where I get dead skin build up. So once that's done, I then like to apply my moisturizer again. So this time I'm only applying the moisturizer to my elbows, my knees, my ankles and my wrists just where I get build up of tan. I also like to apply some just in the crease of my arms here just because I always get build up of tan there. I don't know why it's not dry or anything. I just always get a build up there. So I just apply some moisturizer just to prevent that from happening. Then I just chuck on some nice baggy clothes and I'm ready to go. Hey guys, so I just went and got my spray tan done. I'm looking nice and, well, disgusting at the moment. <laughs> um, I'm feeling very sticky. It's one thing I hate about tans is they just feel disgusting. So I try and get a tan that I don't have to leave on very long at all. The tan that I've got on is the Saint Tropez Professional Spray Tan. Uh, I just get it done at my local salon. So yeah, I've just got to leave this one on for about an hour and a half to two hours and then I can wash it off. This one is a gradual tan, so I do have to leave it on. Like I do have to wait overnight for it to actually develop, So, but that's all right. I usually get it done late in the afternoon anyway. So lately I've just been getting spray tans because they're easier and I don't have to leave them on as long because I usually use Bondi Sands um, Ultra Dark, which is amazing. But I just have to leave it on for way too long and I've refused to sleep in a tan so I've just decided to go with my spray tans lately. 
It does cost a bit extra, but if I don't have to keep it on as long and don't have to be as sticky as long, I don't really care. So I'll insert a photo soon of my tan once it's all developed. And yeah, that's the end of the video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button down below. Thanks guys. Bye.